Hey guys, this is Venom coming at you with a 2024 Jester Special. Why are you saying something? Uh, yeah, I was trying to do the Jester Festival. Really? Y yeah, really. We do it every year. It's something that we do. Is it? Uh, <laughs> yes. Wrong! Why is it wrong? Um, it's, I like to do videos for people and stuff. They Some people like it. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old? Um, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, but I would... Can I get on with the video, please? Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best not take my leave. Okay, so you have a good one, buddy. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! <laughs> All right, guys, this is Venom. We'll get on with this event. The Jester's Festival in-game event makes its grand return today, March the 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time and will continue until April 4th, 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. During this preposterous party, you can enjoy increased XP gains while collecting ridiculous rewards after completing event-specific quests. To receive the admission of the festivities, head over to the event pavilions located within Heaven Art, Local Guard, or Daggerfall, and speak with one of the three gestures posing as an alliance leader. If you get turned upside down by trying to locate these event sites, just open your in-game crown store and pick up the gestures festival invitation quest, which is probably going to be easier to do anyway. Upon completing the introductory quest, you will earn a tasty pie of misrule memento reward, which can be located in the memento section of your collections. However, unlike previous years, you will no longer need to obtain or use the Pie of Misrule to take advantage of the 100% XP buff. This bonus will now be shared passively to all adventurers participating in Tamriel's Wackiest Holiday. That said, it doesn't make the pie any less scrumptious. Preposterous Prizes Throughout the Jester's Festival, you can pick up various event-specific daily quests. For each one you complete, you will receive a Jester's Festival box, Furthermore, the first Jester's Festival daily quest you complete will reward you with one stupendous Jester's Festival box. Each of these boxes can include the following items. Festive Dazzlers, Cherry Blossom Confetti, Relvery Pies, Festive Furnishings, Jester's Festival Provisioning Recipes, Treasures that can be sold to vendors for gold, Previous Year's Style Pages, one of the following, a grand unbound page for either the broom or bucket styles, regal regalia or second seed style pages, a fragment for previous gestures collectibles, Cadwell surprise box memento, sovereign snow pet, playful prankster surprise box memento. In addition to the aforementioned rewards, the stupendous gestures festival box has a chance to contain the following goodies. These are new. The Chesterfer's Seeker Suit Outfit Style Page, Chester's Scintillator Rune Box, Cherry Blossom Branch Rune Box, Cadwell's Kitchen Weapon Style Page, High Value Treasures, that's not vague, Festive Noisemaker Parts, Joke Popper Fragments, at the Impresario and Event Tickets. During the festivities, you can collect three event for the first Jesterfer's Festival quest completed each day. Participating in the festivities each day of the event, you can earn up to 24 tickets total. Note that the total number of event tickets you can carry at one time is capped at 12. Make sure you spend them before you start earning. Speaking of which, let's take a peek at what the goodies in the bazaar. All right, we'll come over here and have a look at this impresario merchant. Is that a Let's take a look at these style pages. That's the legs. Well, the helmet's kind of cool. You know what that actually reminds me of? Have you ever seen the movie Hellboy? Um, has Samael, the Hound of Resurrection. It kind of looks like the almost copied the head from that. It's pretty spot on. There's the boots. And he's got, got these crown items. 
These are the fragments. I've already picked this one up. Just a minute ago. And we have that. And we'll take a look at the other vendor. Spread mirth and mayhem during the Jester's Festival. Complete event quests and gain fantastical rewards as compensation for spreading laughter to each corner of Tamriel. All right, guys, let's take a look at the Crown Store. We'll pick up our quest. Let's go right here. And we have started the Jester's Festival. All right, take a look at your quest log. Jesters and the only fools I see are those in you the are audience. no ordinary fool. Yorin knows a kind red spirit when he's time honored. Any way you can. Free him. All right, and then we're going to pick up our quest. Ah, you here to enjoy? Well, take these. Tell you what. Hey, hey, you. Now, in the keys. Clumbert is so in that he's you. I find this the easiest quest to do amongst all of them. We'll go up here and we'll hit we'll feed the pig the apples. Suspicious character with a pig. <laughs> oh, not me. Pig on the loose. Be on the lookout for a pig on the loose. <laughs> I respect. And there's your three event tickets. She is tasteful. Now to the after. You can head to the other areas and complete the events if you want to in those areas and get more of these boxes. You can do that each day, but if you just want to turn it in here and just get your three tickets, that's just probably the easiest quest to do. Probably why there's like a hundred people here at this one spot. Anyway, if you guys find the video helpful. Please like, follow, and subscribe, and I'll try to get back to y'all with another one.